The evenings have only started inviting more daylight. The pitches are still soft. And for good measure, there's another storm set to hit these shores this weekend. Not exactly conditions we equate with the onset of the football championships. That's the new reality. The leagues are only done and dusted, but there is no time to pause with championship action in all four provinces this weekend. Over the next six weeks, the four provincial championships will play out before Sam maguire Talchin Cup split as the action quickens through May. 99 games over 16 weekends. All a bit squeezed. This weekend certainly feels like the foothills before the peaks of June and July. There will be additional focus on Clonus and Port Leash because of the probable involvement of two goalkeepers just home from a six-week spell in the US where they were trialling to be American football kickers. Rory Began and Mark Jackson were part of an Irish-based quartet out there through the NFL's international player pathway with high hopes of getting contracts after their combine returns. They came back last week with their futures very much up in the air, even as Downs' Charlie Smith linked up with the New Orleans Saints for the next three years. Quite a stunning development for a young Gaelic footballer. Up to this year, Began has played every league and championship game for Monaghan since 2013, 123 in all and amassing well over 100 points. Jackson has been equally pivotal for Wicklow, a fellow scoring centurion with over 120 league and championship points. It's no coincidence that, in their absence, both Monaghan and Wicklow were relegated from their respective divisions last month. For Monaghan, Began's presence may well be the determining factor in the latest instalment of their age-old rivalry with Cavan. After a bright Division 2 start and survival assured early, Cavan's poor finish culminating in a last round loss to Fermanagh was very concerning for them. Westmeath, fresh from Division 3 success in Crow Park over Down last weekend, are one of two counties with a short turnaround to negotiate. They play Wicklow in one of three opening Leinster games, an anticipated win lining up a potential quarter-final against Kildare that will decide, ultimately, if there'll be a Sam team this summer. The other games in the province see Carlo seek revenge for a 10-point defeat to Wexford in the league but they'll have to do it without their captain Dara Foley, who is injured, and Jordan Morrissey, who is going travelling, a tall order. And Meath will watch their step carefully in Pierce Park, where they lost their last championship game against Longford there six years ago. But as ever, these teams are only battling for the minor podium places, 14th successive provincial title, all but assured for Dublin. Mayo are in New York, and with a large travelling support expected, in addition to such a strong diaspora, Times Square will once again be submerged in red and green. There'll be no shock on the cards like 12 months ago, though, when the exiles beat Leitrim. Mayo have moved way beyond that. The question of New York's Connacht Championship link and the expense for teams travelling out remains, though. The arrangement stays in place until the end of this cycle, 2026, but after that, could the New York links switch to other provinces and a potential 32-county cycle? Leitrim also have an eight-day turnaround before playing an improving Sligo, while Galway, still without quite a few leading players, are in London to play a team with five homegrown players in their squad. Four teams are on the starting grid in Munster and Tipperary will be looking to avenge their league draw with Waterford. Cork finished the league strong, scoring 546 in their last three games and have put together an attack that would be far too potent for Limerick. Nine championship games across four provinces in three different countries. The race is underway. 